What's up guys, Bartley Weaver, IFBB Pro and Professional Eater. Today I'm here at Titan Medical Center. I'm doing some follow-up blood work here, guys. We talked about the levels last time. We talked about what we wanted to improve. So today we're on our trek. We're on the road to Nathan's, baby. We wanna get everything done today, make sure we're squared away, entering the competitive eating season. All right, we're all checked in. Now we're waiting for the APR in to come in. Now it's time for the blood work. Titan Medical Center always takes great care of me. The staff is always friendly and professional. With Titan, I always know I'm in good hands. All right, we just wrapped up our visit here at Titan Medical Center. The blood is in. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I haven't trained in two days for accurate liver enzyme readings, so it's time to get to the gym. Pump complete, baby. It didn't take much. Titan's got some awesome equipment here looking forward to coming back and doing a lot more of these videos guys so if you like it make sure you let us know down below now it's time to transition we did the bodybuilding now it's time to do the eating stuff so i'm about to chug this gallon of water as fast as possible we'll see what we got And strong, baby. What's up, everybody? John here from Titan, and today I want to talk to you about one of our amazing peptide therapies that have helped so many people across the board in so many different ways and that's AOD 9604. And AOD stands for anti-obesity drug. So there you have it. Right then and there, you know it's going right after that stubborn fat and that stuff you're trying to get rid of so you can look good all day, every day, right? So let's just talk about how AOD works so you know. So AOD works in a couple different ways. It works one, by lipolysis, destroying fat in the body or utilizing fat for energy, right? And it also has lipogenesis effects, inhibiting lipogenesis, that means not storing fat in the body too as well and utilizing that as energy to go out through the day. There's no stimulants in AOD 96042, so it's pretty much good for anybody across the board that might have any issues, maybe cardiovascular issues, high blood pressure issues. This is going to be good for you. It's not going to mess with that at all. So you can stay healthy, lose weight, make sure you're not storing fat. That's just some of the different benefits of AOD 9604. And the good thing about AOD, you might not know, it's 176 amino acid sequence of the 191 amino acid sequence in growth hormone. No, you're not gonna get growth out of this. You're not gonna get any negative side effects like raising sugar levels or anything else that growth hormone might do to you as well. So don't worry about those last couple of little bits of the amino acid sequence. You got the best of it just for weight loss, destroying fat, getting rid of that fat in your body and making sure you guys are the leanest trimmest and best looking for your brand new 2024 year. So at that point, take advantage of AOD 9604. You can use it with many of our different therapies and get even better results. If you want more information about this therapy or any other therapies, call or text us at 727-389-3220. Remember, you can always go on our website and check out all these great things. Or even on our YouTube channel, we've got great videos and I've discussed a lot more therapies there. So check it out if you're interested and make sure you get your 2024 on track today.
What's up, guys? John here with my beautiful wife, Sharice. Hey, everybody. And I'm with my awesome Titan internal team staff. And we are here for a tight medical center team bonding at Laser Ops here in Tampa, Florida. Are you guys ready to do some laser ops? Yeah, yeah. man. Let's go. Are you guys ready to do this bazooka ball? Yeah. <laughs> are you guys yeah. ready? And are we ready to have some food and have I'm a hungry. good team bonding? I'm hungry. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're going to do. So you guys are going to get to see it. All these girls <laughs> taking it out on each other. That stress and team bonding tonight. Growing together as a team, as an organization moving forward and being the best that we possibly can and helping out our team and learning what that is. So we're going to go inside, we're going to have a blast. You guys are going to witness it all on this video. We'll see who wins the laser tag. <laughs> we're going to see who wins these competitions. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Oh, I like man. the spirit. You see that? Spirit. I like yeah. that. That's that tight confidence, tight lifestyle. <laughs> so come along with us and come enjoy. Let's go. So we're inside right now. All the team members are just carousing around here, talking and getting ready for all the festivities. And they're all in their Titan gear. If you guys see this Titan gear, most of this stuff you can buy from Titan Medical Center if you do like it. But if not, listen, it's just cool to see them all support the organization, want to be a part of the organization. And, you know, Represent a tight lifestyle. And that's what it's all about. Right now, we're behind the scenes at Laser Tag. We just picked our teams and we just watched the intro video. It's like an apocalypse video. And two factions have made their way to the top. The Battalion of Hope and the Rebel Cartel. The so hell? red versus blue. Cartel. No, you're not. You said you want to be blue, so you're the Battalion of Hope. So she automatically made the decision right there. We're just picking the color. You made your bed, now you're gonna sleep in it. So the Rebel Cartel will be coming for you. So just be aware, we will be coming for you Battalion of Hope members. The game was rigged. I mean, the guy told me. All right, guys, so we just finished up tight medical team bonding tonight here at Laser Ops here in Tampa, Florida. It was a blast. Me and my beautiful wife, Sharice, led the packs. Yes, it was fun. You have a good time? Yes, the games were rigged, but it's okay. No, we beat them. That's what it was. It is what it is. So laser tag was an hour. Played a couple games there. And then we played uh, bazooka ball, whatever it is. Yeah. And uh, it was good. It was good all the way around. It was team bonding. We got to eat together. We played together. You know, we competed against each other, right? And that was really, really good. And we brought team bonding skills because they had to work to a team, as a team, to accomplish the goals and to win. And that's what it's all about. So 
You guys are going to see all the video and us playing around. Hope you guys enjoy it. We were active the whole time. We burnt calories. We were being healthy in here playing games. You can too. If you want to be healthier, contact Type Medical Center. We'll help you guys out. All right, guys. Have a good night. See ya. Three, two, one. We are here, Gasparilla, <laughs> Saturday, beautiful weather outside, and uh, we're getting ready for the party of Gasparilla. So exclusive, and everybody knows about it. And I'll tell you what, there's some really, really huge DJs that are gonna be performing today. Saturday morning, Gasparilla morning, here in Tampa, Florida on Bayshore Boulevard. And this beautiful house my friend Gabor has. And uh, we're out here, and we've celebrated Gasparilla many times, but today is a little bit different. So we threw our own private party here with Gabor and his wife, Alex, and uh, we're bringing in some really big name DJs in the back. I mean, huge names. So uh, these huge names are going to be something, and people are going to be maybe upset that they can't get in here. It's going to be super exclusive, but uh, it's going to be one hell of a time. So I'm going to show you guys everything that's going on, and you guys are going to get to see the DJs that are going to be performing. Alright guys, so you know what? It's been one hell of a day. Gasparilla 2024, we're gonna part of here. I think we killed it. <laughs> so I hope you guys love the video and everything that's going along with it. It's been one great event, yeah, so. yeah, And if you guys see me dancing on the box, that was not me. All kinds of crazy things were down here at this party. Good ones though, right? So get ready for next year. And get ready for more tight medical center events that's coming at you straight to you. Let's go. See you later. Bye. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So this is Labor Day edition. You know, if you guys are watching this, it's Sunday. Tomorrow's Labor Day. You guys are going to hopefully be out with the family, relaxing, enjoying, you know, resting up for the week that's coming ahead or enjoying it and celebrating Labor Day. Um, so, hope you guys are having a great Labor Day or are going to have a great Labor Day, first off. Second off, Cupid's Corner, what we're all about here is giving you guys tips, tricks, insight to try to help you guys further, you know, take your relationship to a whole different level, a better level, or if you're not in a relationship, maybe learn some different things that will hopefully make your new relationship very successful. Yeah. So, these are just some of the things that me and Cherise have done, went through, experienced, or we've seen other people experience. 
Um, you know, some of the downfalls or some of the, the don'ts or do's, I guess, the do's and don'ts of what makes a healthy, uh, flourishing relationship, right? And we always go back to one certain topic every show, and that's communication. Communication. You can't talk about it enough. And communication is big in every realm of your life, whether it's your relationship with your partner, your business relationships out there, um, just in general, man. It's, it's a big, big thing out there. So you want to always talk about communication because nobody's mind readers. And even when you're with your partner for 13, 14 years, yes, they might know what you probably will say or what you're probably thinking about, or they should at that point. I do. That long. But, you know, maybe not all the way. Maybe not. And for people that aren't around you as much, they definitely aren't going to know what no. you're thinking most of the time. Definitely not. Um, and they might think everything's all good and you might have problems in your head that you have not told them and you're holding it against them. Mm. So at that point, you want to make sure you're communicating, right? And communicating properly, not yelling at them, not screaming at them, um, you know, becoming frustrated. You want to you wanna communicate properly, easily, uh, so they can understand it and they absorb it. So let's get into this week's topic. <laughs> this week's topic is communication. But um, instead of telling you guys different ways to communicate and stuff like that, we're going to give you guys a little game to play at home. Oh, good luck, guys. So this game is made for couples to really learn about their partner or learn what they could do better with their partner um, so they can set themselves up for success in their relationship, right, or even down the road. So it doesn't matter if you're just getting with your partner right now or dating somebody. This will work. Or if you've been in a relationship for 20 years, you can always go back to these, some of these questions that we're about to, you know, tell you guys and then ask them and you'll learn maybe some things that you maybe, maybe did not know about your partner at all, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different questions you can ask your partner and communicate with. We just picked out four because we're on a time constraint. We could probably talk about this for hours and hours on end <laughs> and I can write the whole playbook for you guys of what you guys should do. <laughs> but we only got a limited time here, so at that point, I want to just, just got to make sure you tune in every Sunday. Yeah, you got to turn every, tune in every Sunday. You'll learn more and more. As yeah, maybe we'll on. get some more questions next Sunday. But uh, you know, for this one, let's talk about four main questions. Let's break them down real quick. First one: If you could see two things changed about yourself, what would they be? So, if if you ask your partner, if there was two things you could change about me, what would they be? Right? Um, and there's a whole bunch of different examples out there. Right, mm -hmm. and you shouldn't take this as a, a shot to an insult. An insult, yeah. you know, this is not for that. This is to make you guys go further. So, if they say, "Listen, I wish that uh, you know, if I could change some things, that you didn't go out all night and spend the whole night out, right, and not call me at least." Wow. That that could be one. That'd right? be terrible. That'd be one. Yeah. Right? Um, the second thing is is um, I wish you'd. And this is not for me, guys. I wish you'd hold the or, or put the toilet seat down after you use the toilet because I hate sitting on a thing. No, I almost John fall always in. fixes that, yeah. So it, the, it might even be something like a little yeah. pet peeve that really just gets on someone's like they might it might irk them a little bit, and you really don't even know because nobody's ever told you. Yeah. Right. It could be something really, really minute. Yeah. And if you and and every time you do it, it might be like, you know, but you don't even know because they're not telling you, right? So yeah. you have to make sure you give them like. If you do this exercise, you have to ask and be like, hey, listen, so if you could, what would you do? These are some basic things. Basic. These are pretty basic things. And it will help, help the relationship. You know, usually people, if they love somebody truly and they're getting to know them, they take the good with the bad. So everybody has their own quirks, right? And whatever that is. And it's a lot of different things with a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. It could be you're messy, right? And somebody that you're living with or being with is not messy. And that really irks their nerves. Oh my gosh! You yeah. could, you know, be real time sensitive and want to be on time for things. And That's a have, big one. John, a if John could change something about me, I know that would definitely be one thing, for sure. I, I, I know for sure if he could be like, if he could answer this question, that would be one because he brings it up all the time. You know, like I, I went to military school. I'm on time for everything, and you are late for everything. Yeah. You are late. I don't like being late. I want to be punctual. Now, I agree. You know, and this is where I'm like, this is where this is the talk comes into play, right? Because it's like, okay, yeah, I, you're totally right. Like, I should definitely be on time to like business meetings or any meetings for that matter, things like that. Yes. However, I might disagree to some some extent that I don't want to be the first ones at a party or the first ones at a dinner or whatever it might be, I do like making my grand entrance after everyone else is there, right? So that's just my personal opinion. If it was up to John, John would probably be there five minutes early. 
<laughs> for sure, 100%. percent you probably be there five minutes early, 100%, you know? So 100%. It's just, I think, that's an example, though. 100%. You know, it, uh, I go back to some of the things, like, I've heard through the past. You know, girls dating. The guy didn't show up for an hour and a half late, you know? And at that point, That's the different. It's a date. You better be on time. This, this goes along with everything, though. It goes along with business, right? You don't show up on time. Oh, this guy's not responsible or punctual. True, true. Th- these, are, these are things that, you know, you want to look at, right? And you want to perceive. How would you feel if you waited an hour and a half? Oh, you probably bad. wouldn't feel good about it, right? Yeah. But, but, oh, well, what the hell were you doing? And why wasn't I, you know, first priority on the list? Or, you know, what, you didn't care enough about me? Or what the hell were you doing? Mm. These are just different questions that could be brought up. So I'm just <laughs> trying to set you guys up for success instead of failure. <laughs> All right? um, so ask the questions. You know, if there are different things, two things. Just name two because you don't want a whole bunch of lists, right? Yeah, uh, dude, please do not list the laundry list of things here. Make yeah. it like really, really. Don't make it a, a negative thing. This is not yeah. a negative question. It should be a positive question. And right. you guys want to learn a little bit deeper. Maybe your partner, you know, thinks these different things. And, and you you don't care. You're like, oh, man, if I knew that, I would have did it right away. Right. Right? That, that doesn't bother me. If it does, you guys need to talk about whatever the hell it is and come to some sort of agreement and compromise. Yeah. So what are your biggest fears about the relationship? Now, this is a pretty good question. Even in the beginning of you guys talking, dating, and, you know, putting forth together the effort to to create this relationship. Oh, because all kinds of questions, I think, in the beginning, for sure. I mean, especially this one. Like, what are your biggest fears about the relationship? Even if you've been in a relationship for six months, eight months, you know, what are the biggest fears? Cheating. And you could get cheating, right? That's Um, probably top. There could be a lot of different things. Or, I think you're irresponsible. Right, these are, and these are going to be some serious, you know, things that you guys are going to be talking about mm-hmm. possibly. So if it gets into that deep dive conversation, you guys can be, have to be open minded and talk like adults about it and be mature about it, right? Mm-hmm. But you know, these could could let you know right away in the beginning, like, oh man, she's worried about me cheating. I got to make sure that you know I don't give her any um, inclination, inclination or insight that I'm cheating or, you know, that I want to cheat. You know? Yeah. But if you knew this in advance, you'd be able to set it up where right. you're successful in the relationship. Right. right. If you actually asked. Right. Um, you know, fears that, Hey, listen, you know, you might leave me. I'm worried about people leaving me. I've had abandonment issues in my life. I've had my father or mother leave me when I was a kid. And, and now that's all I think about it. I don't really want to get close to people because I'm, I'm afraid they're going to abandon me. Right. Uh, and there are people out there like that, man. They, you know, they want to get close to somebody, you know, somebody finds interest, they start getting a little close, and then they start getting that anxious feeling of, you know what, Uh-oh, I'm going to push this yeah. person away because I don't want them to leave me. I don't yeah. want to be in that situation ever again in my life. Um, it could be abuse. It could be a lot of different things out there that people have past traumatic situations that have happened to them, and they don't want to bring it to the new relationship or forward in their life. But it's or a go scar. Through it again, or, yeah, go through it again. It's a scar, right? And so they might put up blocks yeah, and walls. They put the walls up. Yeah. You know? So, you know, we got to think about that, right? And, you, you, you know, whoever your partner is, if you really care about them and love them, you want to give them that. You work with them. You want to give them that safety net almost right. to a degree. You want to comfort them and, you know, you want them to feel positive about the relationship. So you guys can move on and grow. Okay? Next one. This is a big one for everybody. I think everybody will learn from this one. How can we improve our intimacy to take it to the next level? Now, this just isn't (laughs) videos and lingerie. I just said that. That that was the first thing she said. Oh, people aren't just going to say, you know, videos and lingerie (laughs) or toys. Okay. So, you know, that's one aspect of intimacy. So when we talk about intimacy, we talk about physical intimacy and mental intimacy. Mm -hmm. Um, And, you know, males are stimulated in different ways than females. Most males are stimulated by physical touch right or, or or visual and most females are stimulated by different things they mm-hmm. can be you know your iq you're funny ha 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 whatever it is like females are different creatures than men right <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit different for everybody out there you know some female could be like males and they just want the physical touch or whatever it is but at that point you guys need to talk about intimacy and intimacy could be like i said mental stimulation um or females they want different things romantic situations right and or maybe was, something you don't yeah. want. You, I mean, of course, I got to be the you know the negative Nancy over here. Maybe you can discuss things that you don't want. I, I got a good example. So one thing you know, some people they do this thing called like it's called makeup. We'll call it makeup intercourse since the ABC. Um, you know, and they get into a fight, and then you know that that they they you know make love, and 
that makes it all better, right? Well, for some people, that doesn't make it all better. It, it and in fact, the whole time that you guys are, are having this moment, the other person might just be like, "This is I I can't even connect with you right now because I'm still so upset." So and but some people, hey, listen, they might do that, and that's like their way of, "Hey, listen, we did this, and it's all over," you know. And that that blowing works, off some steam. That works for some people, you know, but for some other people, they're just I don't know, I may, just maybe not there, you know. For me, especially females, maybe just not there, you know, mentally to be able to really enjoy it or you know you guys are still in the midst of like well, females do it too so i don't think it's just a male thing that would, would uh, i think know, it goes both this. ways for sure it, it, i think it, uh, females can do the exact same thing males can do and think that hey listen let's, oh, for let's sure. have this moment and then we'll just get over gonna it right? everything's gonna be fine after that <laughs> you know uh, and, and it's true out there so yeah. it might have happened to you and, and listen you can think about what your thoughts were in that right and just where you're at mentally and like i said Talk about these things. Talk about what can increase intimacy. Maybe it's going somewhere new, mm-hmm. right, and being together, or doing a romantic, you know, getaway or day or whatever it is. But these will increase intimacy. Talking and communicating will increase intimacy, right? It's mm-hmm. mental stimulation. So that's another one. The last one. If you had three wishes hmm. to wish for your future with your partner, what would they be? Right? Three wishes. So, me and my partner. Me and Cherise, like, what are the three wishes I, I, I would love for us to do, right? Mm-hmm. And I can say this, right? I want to I want to take our business to new heights. I want to take our family to new heights, right? And I want to take our health and make sure our health is number one priority. Just trying to go to Greece, guys. If, if we could have those three things, then I think that I would be very content, right? Because <laughs> that's, that's what I want. And you can want different things. And it could be, I want the trip to Greece. I, I wish, do. I wish we could have the trip to Greece. I want the trip to or, Greece. Or, you know, to the Turks. Or, uh, you know, I want us to buy, you know, this car. It could be anything. Right. Uh, and you'll learn more about your partner and kind of what they want. You know, and this is a good exercise to, to do that with. So it's a good one. I know that some of these questions, uh, you know, might, might be, be touchy. They might be a little touchy to, you know, in, in regards to your relationship. But I promise you, it will better your relationship. Sometimes these questions or conversations need to be brought up. Or they will never be brought up, and you have animosity, or you know, you won't be happy. Just, kind of just go. Then, then you just go with the days, and it just like you know, you get up, you do it again, and then you go to sleep. You get up right. and you do it again. It's just repetitive, right. and you get up and do it again. Right. At some point, you guys finally will just yeah. part ways. Yeah. It, it happens. You look for new excitement out there, new things. Yeah. You know, stimulus, stimuli. I guess of the brain or any other activities out there. So. Uh, <laughs> These are just some tips and tricks for me and Sharice. These are just some of the questions. Now, there's a whole bunch out there. You guys can research this for yourself, or we might bring up some more of these questions on one of these next episodes that are coming up. So stay tuned to us every Sunday on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys didn't DVR it, don't worry. We got your back. Check out YouTube. Type in Titan Medical Center. Check out our social medias on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, guys. We appreciate you tuning in. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week on another Cupid's Corner. See you then. There you guys.